again, John Wilde here to give you another look at vintage action figures. And this time we'll look at the Chemtoy Shark from 1975. Chemtoy was a chemical company based in Chicago, Illinois, and sold cleaning supplies. In the 1940s, Chemtoy began bottling small amounts of bubble solution for the use of children as an amusement item. This proved to be a very successful, and with the addition of a wonder magic wand, the modern soap bubble dispenser was born. This revolutionized the low-cost toy market, and soon Chemtoys produced a variety of rack toys, balls and jacks, cap bombs, and a rubber shark. In 1974, author Peter Brenchley produced the novel Jaws. Quickly, Universal brought the rights to produce a motion picture for a summer of 1975 release. The movie was a great success, and you would think that this hot licensed movie would have produced many kid-related products. But short of t-shirts, beach towels, posters, and books, not many toys for children were produced. In early 1976, Jaws the Action Game was produced by Ideal Toys, and children rejoiced. This was a fun game to relive the excitement of Jaws. The unexpected chomping jaw had something to do with that too. At our Products Corporation produced model kits showing the final battle between Brody and the shark and Hooper in the shark cage. And this was another choice for Jaws fans. And a Jaws costume was produced by College Build Costumes. But most kids of the 1970s had this long forgotten Jaws toy, the Chemtoy Shark. Imperial Toys also produced many licensed toys for Jaws. Jaws rings, Jaws water shooter, inflatable shark and fins. But the rubber shark, scaled to a three and three quarter inch figure, is what I remember the most. Now not all Chemtoy Sharks are the officially licensed Jaws shark. Let's take a look at a few examples that are. So how did I play Jaws as a kid? Well, my Fisher-Price Adventure People number 353 scuba diver set, and a Chemtoy Shark, and my bathtub, and you're playing Jaws. I don't think I had the licensed shark, but I definitely had a shark very similar to this one. The Chemtoy Shark was produced many times and in many different packages, but it is essentially the same toy. I'm sure this guy was on the toy shelves until the early 1980s. Let's take a moment and take a good look over this classic toy. So all three and three quarter inch scaled action figures work very well with the Chemtoy Shark. Let's take a look at them. Star Wars worked, G.I. Joe's worked, Dungeons and Dragons worked, Dukes of Hazard worked, and even Monster vs. Monster, Universal Monsters vs. Jaws the Universal Monster. But mostly, I remember these two adventure people facing off against this giant shark. Over the years, my memory of this simple rubber shark just faded. I had remembered the ideal game and even picked one up a few years ago. It wasn't until a couple of weeks ago that I found this cool shark in a pile of cheap rubber dinosaurs and animals. And then I had a recall. I quickly went back and bought this cool looking shark. Now I have the Funko Reaction Jaws toy from 2015. And I wish I was able to have these when I was a kid. I would like to thank you for watching my video. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel to see more upcoming videos on vintage toys. So until next time, dum 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 Dad, are you in there? Yeah, give me a minute. Hurry up in there. I gotta use the bathroom.
Oh, come on, give me five more minutes, okay?